As you recall in the past couple of training videos, before I print my worksheet, I want to take a look over in the print preview window because what you see in there is going to come out of your printer. And so if you don't like it, you better make some changes. For example, let's come up here and click on the File tab, go backstage, down to Print, and take a look at the print preview. It's got all my data here, and it spills over onto page 2. And you can see up at the top, I've got the labels for every column. The list, first, last, social security number. Well, it's really tiny, but you can come down here to click on the Zoom In button to see it. List, first, last. But when I go to the second page, okay, is this the first or is that the last name column? Without the labels being repeated up at the top on the next page, it's hard to tell. I'd have to flip back to the first page and go, okay, the first page. Okay, that column is for first names. So let me go ahead and go back to it. Instead, we can use the rows to repeat at the top of every page before we print this off. So we can select the row that contains all the labels and say, go ahead and repeat at the top of the next page so we can identify what the columns are. And to do that, well, you can't do it backstage, even though you have the page setup link. When you click on that and go to the Sheet tab, you can't click on the collapsible dialog box button to have the row repeated up at the top because when you click on it to select the row, you can't select anything in the print preview, so we got to get out of here. You can just view the work that you've done there. So let's go ahead and click the back arrow, come up at the top, click on the page layout tab, go to the page setup group, and there it is, print titles. Go ahead and click on it. it takes you right to the sheet tab in the page setup window, and we want to print the titles. For this example, we want to print the titles or labels for the columns and it's all in one row. So we want to print the row at the top of every page that we're going to be printing off. So to get that onto the second page, or third or fourth page, or every page, if we had more pages, go ahead and click inside of it. Click on the collapsible dialog box button, and then let's go ahead and click and drag the title bar so we can move the window out of the way. And then notice that I don't have a white cross, I have a black arrow. So whatever cell I click on, it selects that entire row. If I want to add more rows, then just click and drag to extend your selection, but you cannot select non-contiguous rows. In other words, you can't click on here, hold down the control key and click on the one up above and have a gap in between because if you do, and you click on this to expand it again, and click and drag it up and click okie dokie, it says it has to be contiguous. You can't have gaps. Okie dokie. So let's go ahead and delete that. Click on the collapsible box again, drag it down, click on the row that we want to repeat at the top of every page that we're printing off, Hit the Enter key on the keyboard to pop it back open, and then go ahead and click on Print Preview. So there's page one. We've got our labels, of course, we expect that. Then on page two, hey, there we go. We've got our labels there as well. So I can tell that this is the first name for the second column, last name, and so on. Now this workbook is for printing title rows, the rows at the top of each column. Let's go ahead and close out of that, and not save it. And then this example is for printing title columns. In other words, Let's go ahead and go backstage file down to print. Take a look at the print preview. We got a total of four pages. So what's happening is, is when I go to page two and then page three, it can't squeeze all of the columns on there because the columns are too wide or they got too much data. So it took two of the columns and put it over onto page three and that's rate and gross. And then it's got its data. And since it can all squeeze vertically, rate and gross on page three, it extends over into page four. So the problem that I'm running into is like if I got so much data and I can't squeeze it all and I've tried all the other options and I'm okay with printing it off but I can't identify whose rate this is and the total gross that they earned for that week, what I can do, let's go ahead and click back, is say that I want to choose columns to repeat on every page. So when I get to page three and four, like for, let's scroll down here, for maybe Jennifer Wilco, I can say she's the one that's earning $123.45 an hour and that's what she earned for that week. So I can put some columns together. In this case, let's do these two columns next to these two columns for pages three and four. In fact, if you scroll up and you notice you've got the dashed line, that's the page break, right? As we talked about in earlier training videos. And as you go down, it goes all the way down and you'll notice that you got a horizontal page break. So you have four different quadrants is what you're looking at here. And then this is the first quadrant. And as far as printing goes, it prints the first quadrant or it goes from top to bottom and then left to right. So going from top to bottom, Excel is going to print this, then the second quadrant, and then it goes from left to right after it finishes everything in this column, then it goes over to the next one, or after the vertical page break, and this is quadrant three, prints that on page three, and then down below this page break, but to the right of that one is quadrant four. So that's printed on page four. So on page four, 
I don't have the titles for these columns, so I may want to hit two birds with one stone and go ahead and add the column labels for these two columns. But in addition to that, I want to have these two columns repeated so it comes onto that page so I can again identify who's making this kind of money and earning that much for that week. So to do this, let's go ahead and come up here, click on the Page Layout tab, go to the Page Setup group, click on Print Titles, and like I said, we'll do two birds with one stone. Let's go ahead and do the rows to repeat at top as we just did. Click on the collapsible dialog box button. Let's scroll up to the top. Do it for that row. So that repeats at the top of every page. Hit enter to pop that open. And then let's go ahead and do the columns to repeat at the left of those pages that they are not on. And click its collapsible dialog box button. And let's do first and last. Now up at the top, Dreamforce LLC. You want to make sure that when you select entire columns or rows that you don't have merged cells that are part of the selection. Otherwise, it's going to choke and it won't let you do it. So if they're merged, then go ahead and unmerge them. If it goes within the selection of these marching ants, as in this case, for these two columns that I want to repeat at the left on every page, then hit the Enter key on the keyboard, click on Print Preview, and let's take a gander. So we got page one. Makes sense. We got everything over here, but rate and gross got cut off, so we can go to page two. And then we had the labels repeated up at the top on page two as well as page three right here but in addition to that I wanted to have columns repeated on every page the first and last name so that way when I look at the rate let me go ahead to click on to zoom in with the zoom in button that I can see wow Max is making 75 bucks an hour 3,000 for the week we better cut his hours and then you can also see that on page four as well so you can identify the person that's making so much an hour. Oh, well, that's even worse. Jennifer Wilco is making a lot more than I think anybody else. And so again, you got the columns repeating on every page. And then, of course, the rows repeating at the top of every page. And then when you're in print preview, if you want to verify what you have for your titles that are repeating at the top or for the columns to the left on every page, you can come down here and click on the page setup link, go to the sheet tab. And you can view them there without going to the front stage or out of the backstage view. And again, you can't make any changes here because you can't select anything. It's a preview.